Pals. Ah! Welcome back to the chat room, your number one spot to get all the tea on music, beauty style, and random shit you want to know about. Today in the chat room, we have Zeta. Hey. <laughs> What's up? First off, this punk vibe is yes. Thanks. I'm like, how many tattoos are on this leg? I can't even tell you, probably over 50, honestly. <laughs> probably wow. over 50. I'm seeing LBs, I'm seeing butterflies. No, floral, literally. Christmas. This, I actually, this is my most recent one, and I actually got it because for my music that I have coming out, we're I going with the butterfly, butterfly theme. Star. Yeah, I'm like, but we're going with the butterflies theme and they and my music manager was like, if you have a butterfly in the center of your leg, it would look awesome. So I got it the day after she said that. <laughs> I love it. Um, so let's get down to business. I'm terrified. Um, so tell me the story behind you getting um, your BFF's hotel key card, sneaking into his hotel I'm room, dead. I'm um, dead. Being in the closet to scare him. But then <laughs> you got stuck in there because he brought a girl over. I'm dead. Okay, so we actually went on a cruise and we were all checking in at first and we all bought our rooms together so they were all actually under one name. And so we actually bought, we actually like got all the key cards, me and my, me and my friend Kara, we got all the key cards and we were like, oh, it'd be funny to like have his key card because we sent them all out but we like kept one oh. and instead of, cause you know how you get usually two? Yeah. So we kept one and we were like, what if later we just like go in there and scare him, you know? So then we used, we got in with his key card, sat in the room, we didn't expect him to already have a girl on this cruise. Sneaky. It's like a five day cruise and God knows what he was doing. He was probably with Aaron too. <laughs> like Aaron was on this cruise and then yeah, we did not expect that, so we honestly just hid in there because we didn't know what to do. How long and were then you in there? I, re I uh, pretty much almost the whole time that she was there, so probably like a good 45 to an hour. And we literally were just sitting there like filming back and forth because we fully did not know what to do. Holy and shit. when it started getting like a little weird, we like <laughs> were like, okay, like we need to get the hell out of here. So it's yeah, like then real we saucy. yeah, then we had to kind of. Jump scare, but yeah. Was he like, what the f No, yeah, he was pissed. Like, he was pissed. Because of the incredible gift that you gave to your boyfriend, I'm 100% advocating for male cisgender to get lip injections. Oh, yes. Um, tell me about how this started. So he actually really wanted lip injections because he's like a male model and stuff. And he's kind of got a little insecure about like how other guys' lips were like always bigger or whatever. And then... I was like, oh, why don't you just do it? And then he was very much off and on for probably like six months. And I was kind of like, okay, so if he's not going to pick, am I supposed to do it for him? To surprise him? <laughs> like, literally, I was like, let's surprise him. And he was kind of like weirded out at first. Yeah. But then once he did it, like, he was good. And like, now they look great. Like, they look so natural. Like, you wouldn't, like, he was scared that they were going to look like, you know, like, like, like duck lippy, yeah. like, you know, like, not natural. Like but no, watch. you, <laughs> like, Beverly Hills moms, yeah. like, yeah, he thought it was going to look like that. But no, you can't even tell now. So, wow. like, he loves it. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm advocating for lip injections for every man. No, seriously, and, like, the whole place in there, they're like, this is our first guy. Like, we want this. We want more people to do this. Like, yeah, and everyone loved it, honestly, so. I'm like, can I get a discount? <laughs> yeah, right? No, seriously. <laughs> Who is Barry McCalkiner? <laughs> is it a habit of yours to wear t-shirts with your friends' faces on it a lot? Oh my gosh, that is so funny, but yes. This is bad. Like, I'm actually nervous. This cost me $104 to make. So, do another one soon, honestly. How many do you have? 
Two. So the first one was random because how I got the idea, it didn't just like, it wasn't like a planned thing. We were in this store and I remember someone was buying like a keychain because they'd never been to Vegas and I remember it was taking so long. So I was just like looking around and then they were making like t-shirts and Alex, she like left because she was doing like a dance TikTok, but I was like, oh, I don't really want to go do a dance TikTok because I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to dance. So then I was just like in this store waiting for my friend to purchase whatever he was getting. And I was like looking around and I was just like, and somebody was like, get your mom on your shirt. Like it was like an ad behind the cash register. And I'm like, what, what if I got my friend on a shirt right now and wear it while she's making this dance TikTok? And I was like, I'm gonna do that. So then I like look up on the internet. So I was like, I was like, I don't have any like bad photos just on my camera roll. So I looked up her name and there was this old video. This there was this photo from my old TikTok of her wearing a wig and she like hates like photos with her in her wig well probably not anymore but at this time she like hated having wigs and like hated these photos so I was like oh my god this would be so funny if I have a photo of her with a wig on and I found it yeah and I time. found it so then I put it on and she was just like oh absolutely not <laughs> after the video was taken she's like take that off and I think I wore it on the plane too I think I did the whole nine yards but in that moment yeah like she was pissed but She's got over it, obviously, but yeah. Well, I know exactly what I'm getting you for your birthday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna love it. It's gonna be the most fabulous shirt you ever have. That's so funny. It seems like scaring the sh out of your boyfriend is like therapeutic for you. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. I, I think know. it's because at home, um, my roommate Aaron, he scares me every second of the day. Does he? Yeah, and it's actually terrible. There was this one time where I came home and him and his friend were in my bed at 4 a.m. when I went to the bathroom, oh my God. just screaming at me all the time. <laughs> and so I think I like to, you know, take all that trauma and put it on my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Your most iconic video ever. Mm -hmm. I'm like talking. Ever. For me, it's when you ordered Starbucks in a giant tool dress. Oh! <laughs> and you I'm got dead. kicked out multiple times. Literally. Even after them telling you you're kicked out. But it's the follow through. No, for real. I, it, was it was very awkward. Ironic. It's because I was doing, I do like, so I'm very high fashion mm. in a sense where. Yes. Your Instagram? Thank you. It it's, gives me like daily orgasms. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. But it's like, I don't have the. I don't have the personality for the high fashion, so when I wear it, it's like, I love it and I feel it, but it's like super awkward for like, oh my God, and like, I'm like, that is not me. Like, I'm like such a tomboy, but I like high fashion abstract things. So yeah. that dress was like very abstract and I love and abstract things. Love you know it. what I mean? Yeah. And it's like you, I like wearing stuff that you don't really see. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was for a Segway shoot and they wanted me to do a Segway shoot. I'm like, how do I make this like, dope and not just like i'm on a segue oh, you know what like i mean shoot. yeah it was a full shoot but there was a starbucks next door and i was just like oh i really want something to drink because i we were shooting for so long yeah and they're like take the segue over i'm like in this fit on a segue and i was like sure i'm like i'm like well technically it's a motor vehicle so i can go through the drive through <laughs> right and then they, they said, ah! yeah and i remember i looked up like the um and they were like, oh, if there's two wheels on it, you can come through, Stop. right? And I looked it up because I was like, I don't want to get kicked out. Because yeah. I was scared. I like, don't like controversial stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I went through. And so he's like, you need to get off right now. And I'm like, I looked up your policies. I'm not even joking. And she's like, I don't care about the policies. I'm like, girl, you work here. What do you mean? And so then I went through inside with the Segway. They're like, you're not allowed to have it inside. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then at the end, we literally drop a drink. And I was like, great, do all that. And then we drop a whole drink and it's like a whole moment. Like, yeah. It's yeah. the fact that you kept the arguing with the employees in the video that really took it to the next level. Like, no, yeah. The policy, call, like. Cause I'm like, girl, I looked it up. So I'm like, I'll, I'll sit here and argue. Like, you know what I like, mean? <laughs> Literally, like, you're what the fuck? like, I am supposed to be here. Yeah, no, literally, like, I'm okay to be here for real. Fabulous. What are your top tips for stalking an ex? Oh my gosh, this video, bro. This, I know she's so. This was the most embarrassing, I think, one of my top 10 embarrassing moments. I made a fake Instagram, and I feel like everyone does that. I've done it. Okay, thank You've you. You've done it. We've all done it. I was like, everyone has done it. You make a fake 
Instagram with like zero followers, zero following, da, 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 just to check up on your ex and like you even get sometimes more deep into it and you look at their friends just to see if they're on the page like you know what I mean and that's there was one day that I was like hmm wonder what he's doing like haven't checked in on, it, in on him in a while yeah. I go and there is one follower <laughs> on the Instagram and it's his best friend I literally you got caught I literally you got caught I almost died that day my heart dropped I deleted that whole Instagram I act like yeah, it was, I never thought I would ever get caught for something like that because he's like bigger and same with his friend, yeah. but I guess they really check who views their stories like, damn. So I think it's safe to say that you don't have the best advice on stalking your ex. No, not at all. I'm like. Moving on. What do you have against male gold diggers? Everything. They seem to just, just everything. continually show up. No, life. literally, I think that's one of my favorite series because my friend actually owns like a Royal Exotic car company. And I remember the first video that we did, he was just like, oh, let's just drive around, you know, post some Instagram stories or whatever. And then as I was driving around, they were like, there was like guys that would come up and be like, yo, wh what you doing with this car? Like baby mama, what you doing? And I'm like, ew, I'm like, absolutely not. Oh, and hell then, no. yeah, no. And it was just so casual. Like we weren't even filming a video. And then that gave me the idea, I'm just like, Wait, what if we actually started filming these things? You know what I mean? Because people don't realize that there are male gold diggers. Yes, in the world. and I feel like only guys capital on girls. Yeah. And it's like there is an opposite side to things. Like exactly. it's not just girls who act like that. Exactly. There's also guys. And it happens every time you drive around any sort I'm especially Miami. Miami, I got a drop top convertible over there, and every guy what are you doing later, huh? Can I take a drive with you? I'll get in the, I'll drive your car. What about that? I'm like, what do you mean you'll drive my car? Please, Excuse guys. me? Yeah, you're not touching oh. shit. Like, oh, absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. no, it's actually absurd how many, how many weirdo guys there are. On the way here, like, there were, like, right here, right on this street, I have my windows down, and I have, like, a purple car, and it has all, like, Louis Vuitton on it, so yeah. it attracts people. And I, like, hate attention, but I love, like, cool Damn. cars. I actually do. Like, I actually hate it. Mm. It's actually so weird. But I like cars, and I like mm. cool, like, things, you yeah. know? I'm getting the rap change soon, but this guy comes up right here, and he's just like, oh, I'll lick you while you're driving this car. I'm like, literally, as, like, as I'm parking downstairs, like, this is as, like, coming up here. So it's like... I'm scared. Yeah, absolutely not. I had to walk past him too, and I'm just, I was pretending I was on the phone. He goes, You were the girl that was, I'm like, <laughs> running. Okay, we're gonna try something. Are you ready? Um, yeah, what is it? So you just broke up with your boyfriend. Oh gosh. Okay. okay. And now you're like talking to his sister about the breakup. So like that's the that's the energy I need from you. Like very emotional, very like, oh, I'm this pissed. is awkward. Okay, like that's the energy. Like, oh my god, okay. Camera and just give me that vibe. Oh gosh. Can I sit like this? Yes. Is it still on me? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Get into the vibe. Who's Harpo? Is, did you come up with that? It's a sensation, actually. <laughs> okay. I love Harpo. God knows I do. But I'll kill him dead before I let him beat me. <laughs> you know, something. That was. Oh yeah, thank God. We love it. <laughs> thank you for the guy who gets to the chat. Oh, thank you, Where thank you. Find you on media? Oh, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, everywhere. I love it. And Triller. You're, you're oh, a pop star sensation. Like yeah. your song, I actually listened to it. It's really, really good. Thank you so much. What's thank your you. like? Where can people listen to your music? Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music. I think all just the good stuff, you know. Well, make sure you guys subscribe. And until next time, do Bye! <laughs>